Hello, my name is Leon Johnson from Asset Optimization Consultants. I have been providing risk-based inspection or RBI program implementation, management, and training services for over 20 years. Today, I'd like to spend a few minutes discussing how to review inspection history for risk-based inspection. In this video, we will look at what is inspection history review, how inspection history is used for risk-based inspection, and some things to consider when reviewing inspection history. Reviewing inspection and repair history is an important part of the RBI data collection process. This work is typically performed by a unit inspector or inspection specialist. You may use a contractor to perform this work, but you need to ensure that they have experience evaluating inspection and repair data. History review involves four key steps. One, identifying data sources. These can include inspection records, thickness data, and maintenance records. Identifying your preferred data sources will prevent you from missing important events in an equipment's history and can help expedite your review. Number two, gather your data sources. This will help make them readily available for the person reviewing the information. Three, summarize inspection repair events. This is typically done in a spreadsheet and includes the following information. The inspection or repair date, the inspection method, the extent, percent, or areas of equipment covered by the inspection or repair. For weld repairs, it may be important to capture if the welds were post-weld heat treated. And four, determining inspection effectiveness. Inspection effectiveness is an estimate of how effective an inspection was at detecting damage and is based on the potential damage mechanism, the inspection method, and the extent of the inspection performed. Assigning inspection effectiveness using inspection strategies or effectiveness tables will make this process more consistent. Examples of levels of inspection effectiveness can be found in API 581 Part 2 Annex 2.C. API 580 requires that inspection effectiveness be considered when determining probability of failure. Inspection history data is used several ways in risk-based inspection. The summarized inspection and repair history is utilized by the corrosion specialist to identify potential damage mechanisms, rates, and locations. Dates of previous inspections and inspection effectiveness values from the history review are used by the risk analyst for calculating probability of failure for identified potential damage mechanisms. Equipment or component replacement dates from the history could also impact probability of failure calculations. The inspection history review will identify the most recent inspection dates so that future inspections can be planned. Inspection history review can be a time-consuming process. Therefore, in order to optimize the value of this information, it is important to determine how much history should be reviewed. Some organizations will review all history from when equipment was placed in service. Due to limited data or data quality issues, other organizations may choose to only look at inspection repair history from a certain number of years in the past. If the processes have changed significantly in a process unit, it may make sense to only review data from when those changes were implemented. Since it is used to determine probability of failure, inspection effectiveness needs to be consistently and accurately estimated. It is important that you utilize defined inspection strategies or effectiveness tables for this purpose. Examples of these effectiveness tables are presented in API 581. If you would like more information on this topic or other asset integrity topics, please visit our website or email us.